Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we got something interesting. It's actually a knife sharpener. So I saw this knife sharpener on Amazon and I said to myself, that looks interesting. Maybe I should try it out. So I definitely like the design on it. That's what made me buy it. So I'm not sure if this is a good one or not. The reviews were there. But sure enough, I thought it was pretty nice. And we do have knives that are dull and we don't have a knife sharpener. Here's one of our nice knives. It's a Mac knife. It's Japanese. Molbudium steel, which is some kind of crazy hybrid steel. So, and it's actually getting really dull. The only sharpeners we have is those little long ones with the uh, stick there. So let's crack it open and see what it looks like. All right, so the box looks kind of cheap, to be honest. It looks very low quality, feels low quality. Advanced knife sharpener, mm -hmm, I don't know about that. I am not really impressed so far. And this bag is like, kind of yellowy. Mm -hmm. But man, the quality is definitely not there. I was expecting something nicer. I honestly thought this was going to be metal. This is actually plastic, guys. And you can see the finish on this thing. It's pretty awful. Look at those corners right there. That's terrible. And th this is plastic here. All of it's plastic. Hmm. Kind of disappointed a little bit on the aesthetics, for sure. So there is like a couple of metal springs here, I guess, that retract. So it looks like the sharpening part of it is like these little sticker things on the two legs. Very interesting. I'm not sure how that's going to do. But hey, you never know. Sometimes this weird stuff actually works out to be okay. So honestly, I thought this was going to be looking pretty nice. Put it in the kitchen for aesthetics. But honestly, I'd be a little embarrassed to show this thing off. <laughs> Alright, well, ugly or not. Well, let's look at the bottom here. That looks interesting. So it kind of tells you here how to sharpen. So it looks like we have coarse sharpening, single bevel sharpening, fine sharpening, and serrated knives. So we do have pretty nice rubber feet here. And we do have some metal down here. Look at that, that's metal down here. So we're gonna use this knife here as our test subject. Right now, this knife is not cutting anything very well. It's actually pretty dull. So I have a piece of paper here. And I can demonstrate. It's not doing it. It's just kind of it's just chewing it. And it does have little chips in it. It is old and used, so. And here is a little test on a piece of cardboard. Let's see how that goes. Oh, that's terrible, guys. It's not cutting. It's trying to cut, but it's not doing a good job. I have to put a pretty good force in order for it to go in it. So for coarse sharpening, apparently, according to the diagram, is you go in like this. Well, actually, hold on. That's the back. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing you go in like this. And then you go down. Oh, yeah, definitely here. Oh, wow. I can definitely hear something going on in there. So after looking at the instructions, I think I was doing it all wrong. I think what you're supposed to do is... so, But you got to do this, though. You got to go inside. And come on. So I was doing it wrong by going down like this. For coarse sharpening, it's actually like this. Okay, that feels definitely like something's happening now. It actually feels more normal, too. Well, looking up close, I can definitely see particles at the edge of the tip. I don't know if that's from this or from the knife. But it's definitely doing something to the knife, guys. So after you do your coarse sharpening, you do your fine sharpening, which is this way. So apparently you just go in to the teeth like that. And then you go up. Definitely smoothed that over a few passes there. Seemed a lot rougher in the beginning. So let's try see how it's cutting now. Let's just say that's all we're going to sharpen. Okay, it's definitely better. I can definitely tell it's a lot better. Still not great, but it's actually pretty good. Oh yeah, definitely much better. I'm wondering if I sharpen it quite a bit more times that would... Um, you know, get it really good. Let's see how that does compared to like it was. 
It's definitely better. I can tell it's better. I'm not even trying that hard and it's going. So I think it's working, guys. Let's just say 20 times for the coarse and then 20 times for the fine sharpening. One, two, three, four. All right, now 20 fine sharpening. All right, so that should be it. So that was 20 passes about each time. Maybe a little more, give and take. Let's bring our paper back out, see how it does. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, that's, that, that's definitely better. Let's see, take a look. Yeah, it's getting better, guys. For some reason, I have a feeling that if I keep sharpening and sharpening, it's only gonna get better and better. The box is actually pretty hard to cut because the ribs are going this way. So it has to cut the ribs. Oh yeah, that's so much better, guys. Let's see. I'm not putting a lot of pressure at all. I mean, I'm barely, I mean, I'm like barely sinking into it, so. That's definitely cutting better, for sure. So even though this thing is ugly, it seems to be sharpening the knife really well. Because it would be hard to cut meat with this knife, but still doable. But now it should be actually a breeze to cut it. All right, guys, so this is a pretty interesting knife sharpener. I'm starting to like it more the more I use it, so because it seems to do its job. Definitely not a bad option if you don't want to spend a lot of money, but still get a pretty good knife sharpener here. Uh, it's definitely unique looking, as you can see. And it looks like these pieces here should last for a long time. I can't see any kind of degradation there. So overall, I think this is a pretty decent product. All right, guys, hopefully you found this video interesting. If you liked it or you didn't, hit that like or dislike button. And if you want to get a sharpener like this, I'll leave a link in the description. Also, check out my other videos on this channel. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.